and welcome to the first rendezvous of the World of Masters here in the beautiful lobby of the Bathroom's Palace in St. Lawrence, of course. And now I'd like to just name the masterminds behind the project. One of them is Edgar Quatt, the publisher of Art Investor magazine and one of the founders as well. Maestro Valerie Garia, director of, uh, the musical director of course, and also the promoter. Hans Wiedemann, who we already met, the director of the beautiful Badrooms Palace. Then Christoph Massoni, the director of Cartier Switzerland, and one of our main and favorite sponsors. Rainer Oboku of Art Invest Plus, and an uh, important consultant to us. And last but not least, Mr. Alex Zirkendorfer, the CEO of World Art Masters and one of the founders. Alex, could you tell us a little bit uh, what's the whole idea behind the, the World Masters Art? Of course I can, I uh, Now, we've heard so much about uh, World Art Masters, which is uh, basically a very promising and very challenging name. Um, World Art Masters is uh, nothing else but just a premium uh, brand that uh, is uh, embedded in St. Moritz. It is, uh, first of all, a, an event that is taking place end of August next year, 2008. This year is just the pre-opening. Um, we haven't set the, the real dates yet, but it's gonna be 10 days, a 10 day spectacle, uh, an art experience at the end of August next year. It's an event that is um, basically, um, that has three components. The first component is an art sales exhibition, which is going to take place all over uh, St. Lawrence, which means in the chalets, up in uh, Covidia, down on the lake, um, within the city. So it's gonna be wherever you go, you are going to see fine, um, um, contemporary fine art. We're gonna go um, in details later on to that. Secondly, it's gonna be uh, a music experience where uh, great uh, classical music uh, masters uh, and ballets will perform. And uh, third of all, this whole event is gonna be covered by an art award where uh, my colleague Edgar will say a few things about it. Axel, thanks a lot. Good evening, I'm Edgar Kraft from Art Investor Magazine and we are next to Rainer Poku, responsible for the art part. As Axel says, um, the third part of World Art Masters is an award. There exist thousands of prizes, of art prizes, in the whole world, with even more artists and nominees behind these prizes. So, we don't want to do another prize. What we want to do is we want to do the award of the awards. This means we will offer to the existing prizes a platform to show and to present to the public their nominees. With the help of a very, very exquisite board of art collectors, we will select about 50 of these prizes and thus we will have a base of about 500 artists which we will select in an interactive way with newspapers and magazines around the whole world. So what we will reach by this is to have a quasi-objective quasi selection of the World Art Masters. The World Art Masters will be altogether three categories, namely we will give a prize for contemporary art, we will give a prize for a very, very good and very um, celebrated life award to a very important artist, plus we will give a prize to a collector of international um, size. The fourth prize we will give is a prize of photography and I am introduce you now to Rainer Opoku who is um, linked very much with the art world, very much to Benedict Taschen, to Lorraine Taschen and we are very happy 
that um, both the Taschen, Benedict and Lorraine are part of this project. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm happy to be here and be part of the big project which is planned for next year. Um, looking at St. Moritz, uh, first of all, we have something very, very unique here in St. Moritz because the city itself contains a lot of people who collect art. They have always been collecting and there are very, very strong collections in this area of Engadin. And we want to use this ability which the city already has. And that makes it uh, somehow easier to approach a kind of project like this for us on the exhibition side. So we want to take as a base the existing galleries who are already in St. Moritz, and these galleries are major galleries who also are active all over the world, not only in St. Moritz. We want to use the collectors who are established in St. Moritz, who live here, who uh, have their surrounding here, have their art here. And we want to use that as a base for the exhibition and combine that with a group of about 20 to 30 major galleries from all over the world, from America to Asia, and make a selection together with them of the different venues we have here. We have been looking at several venues so far, so we hopefully can uh, lean back and have about 15 to 20 venues, which will be all over St. Moritz. And have not an art exhibition, we want to have an art experience. That means experiencing art in different surroundings, experiencing art in different environments. And that's what I think is a very intriguing part about St. Morris, because all of this you have here. And it has never been really shown, or has never been uh, shown in the, in the quality which it has already. The city has a great quality of being one of the most luxurious places in the world, but also in the field of art, or art de vivre, which is an expression I like very much multi uh, use, because it's not only about art, we're talking about, um, uh, what we're talking about, uh, uh, that's not right, sorry. Yeah. About culture in general, also we're talking about um, classical music, we're talking about ballet, and it should be one, uh, one total in one concept, so that is the goal we are having. So there are many art exhibitions, many art, auctions, many art fairs, but this should be the one and only place where you have this all combined in all over the city. So that is our basic idea on the art exhibition. Thank you. 